We're the real hot chicks doing tough things. A lot of the fighters that are women, they kind of have central themes, you know. And it's not, I mean, it's not like all women fighters are abused or neglected, but it's maybe with all fighters, actually. We all have something we're fighting for. But again, like I've said before, with women, it's always something we're trying to prove to ourselves. With guys, they want to prove to the world that they're somebody. We want to prove to ourselves that we're somebody. I mean, the world would be great too, actually. But I got to prove to me first and then the world. You're gonna have to cover you have no defense whatsoever. She's just covering up and throwing a punch. She stole the whole round. You're gonna have to do something, okay? Listen to me. You can do it. Put your hands up and then throw some bombs. And put your hands up and then throw some bombs. But you can't just walk into all those punches. You hear me? You're gonna have to use strategy. But I learned I was a winner and now I know that I can win in anything that I wanna do. Anything. I'm not afraid of anything. You go to a boxing gym and not even speak the same language and you can still train somebody. Стало того, что всё-таки мужчины пытаются а исцелить женщин мужчин. Женщины на самом деле больше выступают за эфнопевие, за то, что все будут эфны, всех все свои. Всё, всех одинаковые, всех свои права. We suck. That means we lose. You guys always have the game up on us. So either you're macho and we have to, you know, I don't know. Maybe the whole manipulation thing is actually reverse manipulation. Very good. Deep. Yes. Damn, you can manipulate us. Все-таки мужчины хотят, чтобы женщины немного были слабее их. We can't convince men to do things, you know, by rational behavior or rational conversation, especially when it comes to something that they don't understand. So, you know, I think women are used to manipulating men in oh, so many subtle ways, you know. And they laugh about it. Have you ever heard to, to get a group of women together talk about men? <laughs> I mean, they talk about them like they're idiots. But that's not because we really think that. It's just because of the manipulation process. You know, there's no challenge that I wouldn't stand up to. If I get my heart set on it, and I feel like it's for the right cause, and I feel like it's a good thing, I don't care what it is. I'm just not afraid. My dad was actually um, Georgia's uh, Golden Glove heavyweight champion back in 1956, I believe it was. And he, he, when he first saw female boxing, he was nauseated. <laughs> but after he started watching it a little bit, and I, I did too, uh, it, it, it got to be pretty interesting. It does change your whole the way you think about yourself. I'm a huge boxing fan. I boxed a little bit, never amateur, but just took lessons. And my, you know, of course, my dad was a boxer. We, we always had a big, heavy, a big canvas heavy bag in my basement when growing up. A lot of guys have said, "Oh, I boxed when I was in college, or I boxed then," but it seemed like they can leave it behind. Women don't really leave this behind so well. Not that I've seen. There's a change that never goes back. There's a, a bridge that's crossed that. Um, you know, you're never going to be anything other than a fighter, you know, as far as your character. It's like you're, you're a fighter. Once you're a fighter, you're always a fighter. When you're looking at a woman fighter in the ring, I mean, she fights just like a man. A woman grows up thinking she can't fight. You know, she's not supposed to get into fights. A lot of the women are like, for the first time in my life, I want to be in the best shape of my life and I want to go out there and do something that I never would have the courage to do wow. on a regular basis. Maybe before boxing I was a wimp, <laughs> after boxing, a beast. Whether it comes to women's suffrage or racism, all those kind of things are the same. You know, no one wants to be held in a box and told how far they can grow or what they can do. You know, we're all intelligent beings and we're all strong and we're all capable of doing whatever we want, so it's, it's not where we want to be. Uh, nobody wants to be there. They tell everyone. You put it on Facebook, they tweet it. <laughs> they blog it. I mean, it's because, you know what, it, it's such a special thing for a girl to box. I mean, it gives them a sense of empowerment. You know, they feel like, man, I'm doing boxing. They feel tough. One thing I'll say about women fighters is generally they don't have the weight up the up and down with the weight that men do like a lot of men are notorious for you know they'll they might fight at 135 pounds but then in between fights they'll blow up to 180 and then they have to drop all the weight again women don't do that because we're afraid we won't be able to get back down 
That's the straight bottom line. We're just afraid. We do not want to have to deal with that again. It's too hard to lose weight. You know, if you don't have enough food and water and electrolytes, you, your reaction's slow. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me just start by saying cheese and chocolate are a woman's best friend. <laughs> you cannot take away cheese and chocolate, no matter what. <laughs> So, um, but the diet is grueling, but like any fighters, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, you have times of high abuse to your body, you know, for your diet and that kind of thing, and times when you just really got to get on it. I weigh, you know, 107 pounds today, and the reason I know is because I weighed today. Why did I weigh today? Because I weigh every day, every morning, every evening, and I'm a trainer and I'm in the gym, and I make sure that I stay within a certain range. That may seem obsessive to some people, but fighters do that kind of thing, especially women fighters. When you tell people that you're boxing, they kind of think, oh yeah, what do you, you mean you're doing like, you know, fitness classes or whatever, and if you, if you tell them you're really boxing and you're sparring or you're, you're in bouts like this tonight. Well, someone that I know told me, um, oh, the men's fights are so much more exciting. They just get in there and bang on each other. You know, the women don't punch as hard. You know, I was angry. I was really, literally ready to kill somebody, the person that made that comment to me. Some people are scared. They, they, they just take a, you know, take a step back. But for the most part, I think people think it's pretty cool and, and they embrace it. So, and I think it's, it's just getting a lot more acceptance. But I'm like, it's not that the men's fights aren't, uh, are more exciting. I mean, they do punch harder, but you know, they haven't seen a top-notch pro women's fight either. One of the things that I love about women boxers is their dedication. You know, like the rules of boxing. You know, they still have rules that apply to women that are ridiculous. From what I hear talking to coaches, and I, I approach it from an officiating standpoint. I've been officiating amateur boxing for 16 years now. The women are dedicated. Есть мужчины, которые даже это одобряют, есть ли мужчины, которые даже это очень слишком любят, у них там какой-то фетиш, фетиш по этому поводу. Women fighters are getting used to that. There's always the odd ones that not cool. <laughs> There's a lot of fetishizing. Um, actually, when I first started training, I got a lot of friend requests from creepy dudes on Facebook because they figured out that I was fighting and they're like, oh, you know. It's like, no, it's not like that. You know, it's, it's competition, it's a sport. You know, this is not, you know, a sex thing. But people, I think they kind of perceive it that way because they don't take it seriously. Because you're like, you're a creep? Are you a creep? You get a lot of those too. There is like a whole string of creepy guys that follow women fighters. It's really creepy. The coaches say if you ask a woman to do something during training, she does it. If you ask a guy to do something, he kind of has his own idea what he wants to do. It's the sex and violence mixture. I guess that's what sells. But you have to wonder, does that sell to women or to men? I wonder if women like the sex and violence. I think the only reason women like it is because they think that men will like it. So in terms of training, in terms of their dedication, I think they're a plus for the sport. There's so much that women do, including me, I'm going to admit. We do things just to th because we think they're going to like it. It gives you that extra strength that you can get out there and you can do whatever you want to do. So it opens a lot of different doors. The new sexy is the fit, the fit woman, you know, that is definitely what at least right now, you see in the media what people are looking for. They don't want that skinny little girl anymore. They want someone fit. They want someone strong. And that's, I feel like, the new woman. So, you know, that that's really, you see all the different body types of women, but all around, they're just like really fit, active women. Yeah, being wimpy has really gone out of style for women. I think you got to have that willpower, and the guy has to be in your heart in order to want to do it. You know, when I first started boxing, you oh, the amateurs suck, you know, nobody wants to watch women fighters. I mean, they just look like a cat fight, you know. But the reason is there was nobody there to fight. I think a lot of people might not expect that she's a boxer if they have stereotypes. It kind of seems that from the women I've got to know in this program, they come from all shapes and sizes, just like the rest of society. But men don't focus on that. I mean, well, I guess I'm wrong because they'll buy cars, they gotta have money, they gotta have all these things that they build around them, things that they have. But they definitely don't focus on themselves. Men focus on their environment, 
on the, their environment is going to get them women, you know, where women focus on their self, no environment. I've seen some good girl fighters. I've seen some fighters that will give me a go. Well, it's interesting too, because if you're a man and you don't focus on your environment, then you don't get women. Yeah. I wonder if that's And then if you're a woman and you don't focus on yourself, you don't, you don't get, get men. Right. Yeah. So it's like we're just hung up in this vicious circle of fishing, <laughs> kind of gone fishing, you know, but you really, it's all about the bait, you know. Hmm. It's not about the experience. There, darling. Relax. I'll stay here with you. I'm so tired, Maya. So tired. I wish I could lie here forever. Forget this useless war. The new thing is to be powerful. Coast. 